Hello, hello. Welcome back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Back in action like Jesse Jackson, ready for action. What's going on like Donkey Kong? Long and strong to the break of down. How are you? Hello. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hey, Reina. Hey, how how are you? you? Hello, Renee. Hi, Maria. Hi, teacher. Hi, Elena. All right. Welcome back, welcome back. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today is Tuesday. How do you feel? Como se siente? Fine, thank you. ¿Quieren saber qué hace su teacher todo el día? Todo el día, ¿qué pasa haciendo su teacher? Yes, teacher. ¿Quieren saber? Yes, yes. yes. ¿Ah? ¿Quién quiere saber qué hace el teacher cuando no está dando clases? ¿Qué hace? Uh, yes. ¿Ah? Pasa en la maca todo el día, va a decir. ¿De clase? Sí, no. No, yo trabajo con bienes y raíces. Comprando casas. En Florida. ¿Quieren escuchar una conversación con un cliente hoy? Yes, yes, teacher, please. Para que entiendan el poder del inglés desde El Salvador, miren dónde estoy. ¿A dónde estoy yo? <laughs> no, yo estoy en El Salvador. El Salvador. Central America. Pero les voy a enseñar eh, una herramienta muy fácil y muy poderosa para eh, incrementar los ingresos desde tus casas. Y yo puedo ser tu jefe y puedes ganar mucho dinero. Are you ready? ¿Quieren ver cómo se usa el inglés desde El Salvador? Yeah. All right. Y eso se llama vida real. Ok, les voy a presentar la primera llamada. Es solamente yo y el cliente. La otra llamada será con mi cliente, yo y mi jefe, el millonario. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Nelson Jr.? What's up, buddy? Is this Michael? This is Michael. Yeah. What's going on, buddy? How are hey, you, man? Right. Yeah, I just literally got off the phone with my old man right now. Todos oh, pueden that's escuchar. Great. That's great. He just gave me your number. Um, I'm trying oh, to help yeah. you guys yeah. out and get out of this mess. Okay, this así girl. se gana la vida. Tell, Tell me, yeah, brother. Bro. How did this happen? Talk to me, and I, I'm, I'm working with este you. Soy yo this, hablando well, con this, un this, this is a, Well, this is the thing, bro. Um... I, I basically, like, two years ago, I basically, like, was already done with this mess and whatnot, so I just filed for divorce, and I just pretty much left the house, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, In the meaning of doing that, I had hired an attorney, mm -hmm. and then the, it, was, it was pretty much like a pain in the butt, because, you know, like, they would go to her job, they couldn't find her, they would go to her parents' house, they couldn't find her. Mm -hmm. um, like, they were pretty much going everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They would go to the house, they couldn't find her. There mm -hmm. was times where her car would be parked in front of the house. Mm -hmm. When they went to go serve her, but uh, I guess she just never answered the door because she knew what was going on. You get me? Mm -hmm. So make a long story short, bro, they couldn't find her. Um, two months mm -hmm. later, she finally got, two months later after me filing for a divorce in March of 2019, mm -hmm. she finally, they, she finally got served and whatnot. Mm -hmm. I hired an attorney and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And it's just pretty much like, you know, pretty much going back and forth. We, um, I had another company like trying reaching out to her and whatnot. At one, like at one point I had like two numbers, two different numbers that were working for her. Mm -hmm. They tried reaching out to her to see if, you know, what can be done or whatnot. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. she pretty much said like she wasn't bulging. She was like, oh, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna leave here. This is my house. You know. Mm-hmm. If they wanna, if they wanna get me out of here, they're gonna have to buy me out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So pretty much that's what we stand, man. And I know at one point she mm-hmm. had, after the first year that I filed for divorce, she had rented it out. Mm-hmm. She wasn't paying the mortgage, mm-hmm. and she was pretty much pocketing the money that the people were, were renting. When mm-hmm. my dad and my brother went to the property, oh, so she's not food. even living there. She's not even living no, there. No, she is. No, 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 no. She, she, from what I'm hearing now, she's living there now. But the first oh, year, she's living there. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. 2019, 2019, when I was when I was um when I filed for divorce, mm-hmm. I heard from a, from like a group of friends that were telling me that she rented the property out. Mm-hmm. So there was people living there. So when my dad and my brother went to the property to see if she was living there. Mm-hmm. They knocked on the door. Some guy answered the door. He was living there with his wife and his two kids. And my dad told him, hey, just to let you know, this is my mm-hmm. son's house. They're in the mm-hmm. process of a divorce. Mm-hmm. And she's not paying the mortgage. Just to let you wow. know that the house is on a foreclosure. Which was BS at the time. It was just only a couple of months that went by. The house mm-hmm. still hasn't fell in the foreclosure. Mm-hmm. But she, he pretty much told him that to get scared. You get me? Yeah. I, yeah. I, guess, yeah. I, I, guess, I guess they, they like, thought like maybe it was true what he was saying. And I guess she was like pretty much got caught in the lie, and they pretty mm-hmm. much like just left the property, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. the property was I guess abandoned for a couple of months or whatnot. And then she okay. So anyway, así hablan los gringos in Miami, Florida. Yo compro mansiones in Miami, Florida, condos, casas, propiedades, todo lo que tiene que ver con. Eh, Bienes y raíces, eh, propiedades, condominios, edificios comerciales, parqueos, eh, whatever, whatever. Yo los compro. Ok, so ahora quieren escuchar ese mismo cliente con mi jefe. Ok. <laughs> Aquí les estoy mandando un powerful Tool. Esta es una herramienta poderosa. Millions of dollars. Escucha, por favor. Escuchan. Yes, teacher. Can Hello? everybody hear? Pueden Hello, escuchar? Uh, Mr. Pinto. Yes, I yes, have yes, Nelson Jr. Si escuchan? Yes, yes, letting me know. Okay, okay. Pongan story. atención. Este es el jefe, oh, el mero, okay. mero. Um, I would millions like for of you dollars. to hear this because we're working hand in hand on this project. Um, go ahead, Nelson. This is my senior manager, Joe Pinto. Mr. Pinto, how are you doing today? He's the man hey, that needs to happen. I hey, call to him make a long magic. story short, yeah, to make a, yeah, um, all right, perfect. To make a long story short, um, I filed some divorce from my current wife back in March of 2019. I left the property, and I hired an attorney. Okay, I'm doing the process stop. of trying to get divorced, but this girl's like trying to make my life a living hell, and I guess she just doesn't want to move forward or whatnot, what the case may be. But in that same year, 2019, I found out that she had pretty much rented the property out to a family, and we found out that there was another family living there when my father and my brother went to the house to see if she was living there, and another another family just pretty much answered the door and said they were renting the house directly from, from Elizabeth Enrique. Now, I'm not too sure if there was a contract in place, um, there's an association there. I'm not too sure if she went about the right way of doing things and going to the association and getting this family approved to rent the property. I don't know what happened. But I know that when my dad went that day, he pretty much scared the family, and the family pretty much felt like, damn, this house is really under foreclosure. What the hell are we doing? So I guess they didn't even make a year living into the property. They ended up moving now. The property was probably vacant for a couple of months until she decided to move back. Now she's pretty much living back, and she hasn't paid the mortgage because I we made the payment the last mortgage payment I believe it was April of 2019. She hasn't made the payment since. Um, I'm also. All right. That's what I do, on a daily basis, every day. Sorry, I have a question. Yes, talk to me. What it's mean. Living hell? Living hell. 
eh, un infierno. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Another question. He shared my experience. It's uh, for me very, very difficult <laughs> learning English or, or the real conversation. <laughs> okay. Understand me. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. This is a process. Lo que yo estoy haciendo ahorita, guys, es no para intimidarlos o decirles, oh, wow, eso es lo que hace mi teacher. Oh, uh, qué impresionante. No, yo lo que les estoy enseñando es cómo puede ser el lenguaje útil en tu vida. Comisiones, te puedes ganar 150 dólares en tres minutos. It's good. Teacher. Easy money. Teacher. Sí. I only understand uh, 2019. What is this? What 2019. Is 2019 mm -hmm. is dos, I... the 2019. Ese March. año él se divorció de su esposa. In March. Oh, March. Oh, March. So, es, so, les voy a explicar un poquito lo que yo hago. Yo hago eh, lo que se llama servicios legales en situaciones de embargos hipotecarios. En oh. Florida. It's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. So, lo único que yo quiero hacer es inspirarlos eh, dejarles saber que están con una persona que les pueda ayudar bastante y mucho. Lo único que necesito es que ustedes me digan, eh, teacher, necesito esto. Teacher, ayúdame con esto. Teacher, mira, estoy trabajando esto, ayúdame con lo otro. O sea, eso es lo único que les estoy pidiendo. Habla conmigo. Dime qué necesitas. I can help you. Teacher, is, is you like lawyer? Yes, mm. but real estate. Mm. Juicios embargos. Mm. Bancos. Mm. Créditos. Mm. Hipotecarios. Teacher. Aquí todo come cuando hay. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, they are like similar to dogs of the Savior. Son las leyes parecidas a la del Salvador en cuestiones de hipotecas. Eh, todavía no he empezado a hacerlo en El Salvador. Eh, no he visto el mercado todavía aquí. Eh, yo opero en los Estados Unidos. Eh, me gustaría operar en El Salvador, pero todavía no. Eh, as, alguien me lo dijo. Ah, lo deberías de hacer en El Salvador. Mm, pero como mi especialidad no es El Salvador. Mi especialidad es el United States. So, prefiero eh, pisotear tier, terreno con, eh, como dicen, te, I would rather step on recognized territory. <laughs> Where are you from? Houston, Texas. Thank you, teacher, for your help. Yes, of course. Any questions? But before but, you but were I... working about it, you had, yeah. did you study laws? Of course. And it's hard? Everything in life that's worth investing, it's hard. Everything in life that comes easy, it's not even, it's irrelevant, honestly. So, oh, makes sense. It's real. But, but you travel uh, in the United States. 
Yes, Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. But I live in, in El Salvador. I live in El Salvador. My life is in El Salvador. My retirement. Your family, your family live, in, live in El Salvador. I'm international. I have family in El Salvador, family in Germany, family in China, family in Australia, wow. <laughs> family in Costa Rica, family in Mexico. I have a lot of family. <laughs> look, look at my skin color. <laughs> Soy moreno. Todos los morenos. We're international. We don't have a choice. <laughs> and teacher, how can we well speak in English more fluently? Um, ¿Cómo podemos hablar inglés más fluido? Number one, number one, get on the platform. That's number one. We're going to practice. ¿Quién no está en la sección tres? ¿Quién no está en la sección tres? ¿Quién no está? Ni les creo, ni les creo, ni les creo. No, uh, no hagan eso. Ok, escríbeme en privado. Les voy a dar mi número. 6308. 6359465946. 6359465946. Escríbeme. Dime dónde estás. What are you doing? Ahorita les voy a escribir un mensaje en WhatsApp. No hay razón porque todos no estamos en la misma sintonía. Ok, yo quiero que todos, si tienen una pregunta, usted me escribe. Este soy yo. Hola, el que les acabo de escribir. Ahí escuché a todos. Wow, 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 wow. Llegó la resolución de mis problemas. Más, más, más. Así le digo. Soy. You write me, you tell me, teacher. No sé lo que estoy haciendo, teacher. No entiendo esta palabra, teacher. Eh, no sé dónde estoy, teacher. ¿Qué está haciendo? Whatever. Tú solo escríbeme. And I'm going to help you. Ok. Yo no tengo jefe que me va a estar llamando. Cuelga el teléfono. ¿Sabes qué voy a hacer si me llegan a decir cuelga el teléfono? ¿Sabes qué voy a decir? Do you know what you know what I'm gonna say? Do you want me to tell you what I'm gonna say? Moment, please. I'm gonna say eh, caliéntame, haceme un café, por favor. No, quiero un té con miel y limón. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> Teacher. Please yeah. repeat uh, the telephone number. Six, Six three. three. Five. No, lo voy a escribir en el chat. Six, three, oh, eight, five, nine, four, six. Six, three, oh, eight, five, nine, four, six. That's my phone number. Michael King, teacher. Michael King, Michael, this is my real estate name. Eh, pero como yo trabajo en diferentes roles, tengo muchas gorras, como dicen. Um, Michael King, real estate, Johnny Ramirez. Porque hago videos de presentaciones profesionales, interpretaciones. Allí me van a ver como Johnny Ramirez. Um, también tengo otra empresa de eh, Courier Service, mandaditob.com, que es de 
mandados, pero empresariales, documentos, contratos, cheques, whatever. So, me van a ver como de diferentes formas, pero soy el mismo, yo. Okay, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay. All right, let's continue. We're gonna look at 3.7. Right now, we're going to be looking at a map, knowledge check. Now, on this activity, where are they going? What I want you to do is listen to this activity, play the audio, page 89, exercise, and then you're going to answer the questions. You will have five minutes to complete the activity. Five minutes to complete the activity. Any questions? Three. ¿Qué número era el ejercicio, teacher? Perdón. Yes. Tres. That was section number 3.7. 3.7, right here. Maritza Padilla, I don't see you. Maritza Padilla. Maritza está trabajando con Enrique. Voy a poner Enrique en el 5. All right, Maritza, cuando está lista, me avisa y yo la incorporo al grupo. Bye bye. Aquí Hola. hay ahorita. Um, Hola. Hey, Maritza, ok, voy a regresar a su compañero porque lo moví. Ok. Ah, oh, usted está con Enrique. Ok, lo voy a poner acá. All right. Ok, ya le mandé el uh, enlace con Reina Acosta. Ok, thank you. Sorry, guys. Uh, vamos a repetir el proceso, por favor. Un momento. I'm sorry. Voy a... Ok, ya regresamos todos. Ya regresamos todos. Ya todos estamos aquí. Ok. I think um, yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry guys, sorry. Eh, vamos a repetir el proceso porque tuve un problema eh, con el, la plataforma, no sé qué pasó, pero lo vamos a repetir. Por favor, vamos a darle clic al botoncito que va a aparecer que dice ingresar a sesión privada. Si tiene, necesita ayuda, usted tiene un clic abajo donde están tres botoncitos que van a decir apoyo del teacher. Usted le dan clic a eso y yo voy a llegar a su plataforma. Pero por favor, no se quede callado. Si no entiende, si no sabe qué significa la palabra, si no sabe qué está haciendo, si no sabe quién soy yo, whatever, tú solo dale click ayuda teacher y yo allí voy a estar. Let's go. 
No penas, por favor. Por favor, pregunte, pregunte, pregunte. Let's go. un poquito problemas con el internet el 3.7 yo creo que ese ya lo hice pero si sí lo tengo y el tercero es María's Restaurant el cuarto es Favorite Choose puede bastante el inglés ¿verdad? Usted puede bastante el inglés, ¿Qué? porque usted, por lo que he oído. Sí, no veo que lo... Mucho, ahí voy. Pero lo... lo, ahí voy. lo habla más o menos. No crea, por ratón me pierdo. Por ah, ratón pero... Me... Porque la primera es... Where are they going? ¿A dónde van ellas? Ya pudo escuchar el audio. Ah, ¿qué es Roxana? Teacher, eh, no puede escuchar el audio um, la compañera Roxana okay. para poder continuar. No That's sé si okay. nos ayuda. Of course. Thank you. Exercise six. ¿Lo escucha? Listening. Yes. Where is Excellent. it? Excellent. Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm, I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between the restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue next to the supermarket. P&J Supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. ¿Qué pasa? Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay.
All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have the first volunteer, number one. Where are they going? Where are they going? The bank. Very good. Number two. Where are they going? David's drugstore. David's drugstore. Excellent. Repeat. Davis. 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 Drugstore. 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 That's right. Davis Drugstore. Davis Drugstore. Davis Drugstore. Davis Drugstore. Davis Drug Store. Davis Drug Store. Perfect. Perfect. Number three. Maria Restaurant. Excellent. Maria's Restaurant. Number four. Where are they going? Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Favorite shoes. Favorite my favorite. My favorite. Thank you. My favorites. Yeah. Favorite. Awesome. Awesome. Let's check the progress. Oh my God. Excellent. Excellent. Good progress. Any questions? No question. No question. No question. Mm. Todos llevan las secciones al 80. Al 100. I love you. That's right. That's what I want. That's what I want. Okay. Let's continue. At this moment, does anybody have any questions? Si es, no está en la sección 3, escríbeme en privado, please. Si no estás en sección 3, escríbeme en privado, please. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, aprenderán cómo pedir y dar direcciones. Además, practicarán una conversación, la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema in un escenario de la vida real. Directions and conversation. Is it far from here? Are you ready? In this class, Are you ready? To... Yes, yes, I'm ready? Listen, please. Listen, please. Toma apuntos en tu nibleta. To ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. We're going to practice giving directions now. 
let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. It's on the left. So, let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to? And we mention a place. Or, how can I get to? Then we mention a place. For answers, walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Make sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Let's say that we are at the Empire State Building and we have a question like the example shows. How do I get to Rockefeller Center or how can I get to Rockefeller Center? The first instruction would be walk up Fifth Avenue or go up Fifth Avenue. Now let's pretend that we are at 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. And we want to get to St. Patrick's Cathedral. The question would be how do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Or how can I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? The first instruction. All right, solo escucho que ladra un dog ahí. Ar, 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 ar. Está bueno. Pero, I want to know, what do you think? What do you understand? Habla conmigo. About the dog? No, about this. I mean, uh, I love dogs, yes. Talk to me about dogs all day, every day, because I love dogs. But right now, talk to me about this. What is this? What are you? What is he talking about? What are you understanding? Teacher is saying, "Where is? Uh, how do? How do I get? I get to? Okay, I get to. Where, where is? Um, gas station, for, for example. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um." How do I get to gas station? You say? That's right. That's right. Somebody else? Somebody else? Alguien más? Alguien más? Look up, go up, go down, go down to left, to right. Home. Go down, go left, go right. No tenga pena, no tenga pena. Yo quiero que todos me pregunten, no quiero que tenga pena. Todos, no hay pregunta. Todos pueden participar. Talk to me, talk to me. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Quítele mute a su micrófono. Los quiero escuchar. Todos, los quiero Would escuchar. Kind of question. If I want to say you have to go up, for example, you have to go up to Madison Avenue. Is correct if I say go up to, or I just gonna I just have to say go up Madison Avenue without the two. Very good question. Very good question. Hey, what's your name? Marco. Marcos. Very good, Marcos. I like that. Primera vez que hace una pregunta, Marcos, y ha hecho una pregunta muy interesante. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre decir eh, yo subo a Paseo Escalón? I 
go up to paseo es calon and I go, I go up paseo es calon what is the difference what is the difference the difference is the formality la formalidad the formal por ejemplo tú puedes ver cómo tengo yo los botones de mi camisa yes that's called formality i go up to paseo escalón it's formal it's proper it's righteous it's correct it's the best now I go up paseo escalón informal right totally different so the preposition makes the phrase more formal. Is correct form I go up to Paseo Escalon? I go up to Paseo Escalon is correct. So if I say I go up Paseo Escalon, if I am talking with my friend, for example? That's okay. Okay. That's perfectly fine. Very good question. Thank you. Another question? Another question? Teacher. Okay. Yes. Uh, si yo menciono, he wore on the My Avenue o Mexicano, se entendería. Sobre la avenida de Mexicanos, como podría decir, él trabaja sobre la avenida de Mexicano. Ah, Uh, vamos a decir, él trabaja sobre la Constitución, por ejemplo. Para no ser tan específicos. He works on Constitution Boulevard. He works on Constitution Boulevard. Another question. Ese on significa es como que dijera sobre o no es over. That's correct. Mm -hmm. um, she works Dicho. Dicho. on... Esperame, esperame, esperame. Uh, mi corazón, mi corazón. She works on Military Boulevard. Your girlfriend living Military Boulevard? My girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she works Teacher. on Teacher. Military Boulevard. Uh -huh. Una pregunta, teacher. That's right. Este on on significa sobre o en. No. Podría ser las dos. Sobre. No. Mm, 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 mm. Sobre quiere decir en esa, no adentro allí. Sobre esa. Okay. It's sobre totally esa. different. Totally different. Okay. So what is the difference between on and over? Ah, over. Uh, over is, for example, um, Constitución. Constitución. Over the boulevard. Um, uh, hold on, hold on. Another example. Um, okay, okay. Um, uh, calle El Tigre del Norte. <laughs> Para Kumalapa, 
and you got the highway is over the highway. That's right, Jaguar, okay, Jaguar, like a bridge, that's <laughs> like, like a bridge. Um, bridge. Um, Kumalapa, um, bridge, or Sulutan, you have to pass over Kumalapa River. ¿Por qué no puedo decir over a cap, teacher? Where? Ah, porque aquí estás, hay movimiento. Military, uh, Constitución Boulevard, no. Military Boulevard, eh, hay movimiento. Pero cuando estás hablando over, no hay movimiento, porque tú solo vas over something, so there's no movement. Es como que digamos que yo voy sobre alguna carretera, ahí se puede decir over. That's right. That's correct. Any questions? Any questions? All right, let's continue. Are you ready? Yes. B. Walk up Madison Avenue or go up Madison Avenue. Now, let's pretend we are at St. Patrick's Cathedral and we want to get to New York Public Library. The question would be, how do I get to New York Public Library? Or, how can I get to New York Public Library? The first instruction would be, walk down Fifth Avenue or go down Fifth Avenue. So what is the next step to get to New York Public Library. For that, we will use the vocabulary. Turn right on or turn left on, depending on where our destination is. Questions, questions. Questions. No hay pregunta equivocada. No hay pregunta. Yo empecé no entendiendo nada. Cuando yo recién llegué a El Salvador, yo le decía a la persona en la tiendita, excuse me, eh, me regala una bolsa de Doritos. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? What is that? Yo, Doritos. Nah, aquí no hay de eso. Aquí no hay de eso. <risa> <risa> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y le digo, sí, la bolsita naranjada con churros. Ah, tú quieres churros. Yeah, that's right, churros. <laughs> Incredible. Yo a mí me, no me daba pena. Eh, la gente me decía chiste. Yo andaba <laughs> perdido completamente. Y a mí no me daba pena. It's okay. It's okay. Estoy aprendiendo. ¿Hace cuánto tiempo, teacher? Digamos unos 20 años. Ah. Tenemos fe. <risa> Pero ya no me pierdo. Sí, sí, me pierdo. Siempre me pierdo. Así que. Hoy se busca solito, Tiche. No, siempre me pierdo cuando salgo. Eh, me invitan aquí, me invitan allá. Yo prefiero mejor, le digo a mi mejor amigo o a mi novia. Vamos, mira, me han invitado aquí. ¿Quieres ir? Ah, sí. Ah, ok, vamos. Pero si me dicen, oh, no, not right there. Yo les digo, ah, ok, no, allí no. <ríe> ok, ¿entendemos la actividad? No, teacher, excuse me. I'm sorry, teacher. 
Ah, ok. Ay, eh, ah, ok. Básicamente lo que vamos a hacer en esta actividad es escribir dos oraciones. Solo dos. Así como estas. Eh, I live on Constitution Boulevard. Obviamente no tiene que escribir exactamente donde usted vive. Usted puede decir, yo ahorita estoy en Honduras. Y puedo decir que estoy en El Salvador. Pero no lo estoy, estoy en Honduras. O you can say, I work on... Teacher, ¿Ah? my, hus my husband works en Boulevard, sería Boulevard Pinta, Merida City. Oh, that's, what? Boulevard Pinta, así se llama el lugar, en la ciudad de Merida <laughs> Ahí trabaja, o sea, le digo, my husband works on Boulevard Pinta, Merida City. My husband works Work. on, no, 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 works, not working, works. No, work. My husband works Work. on Boulevard Pinza. Pinza Boulevard? Pinza oh. Boulevard. Boulevard. Perfect. 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 Para mayor ubicación, Marriott City, en la ciudad de Marriott. Como que, como que ya mi destino ya me llama con este grupo, como que ya, como que me dice, ah, this is your group, this is where you want to be, Ruben. Ay, cómo son, ni modo, no tengo otra opción más que aceptarlo. Yes. Porque voy para Merliot. That's right. No exactamente Merliot, pero estoy interesado en comprar o alquilar eh, terreno en Nuevo Cuscatlán. Do you know, do you know Nuevo Cuscatlán? No. Nayib, le dicen que es Nayib City. Nayib City. The president lives here. <laughs> oh, ¿Quién dijo eso? The president live, uh, live there. You live there, René? No, the president. <laughs> so, that's where I want to be. <laughs> that's my future. Do you like, do you like that city? Yes. Do you like Nuevo Cuscatlán? Yes, it's beautiful. Tell me, what do you know about Nuevo Cuscatlán? ¿Qué sabes de Nuevo Cuscatlán? Tell me, tell me. Okay. Solo que Nayib Bukele fue alcalde de ahí y ahí no sé nada más. Okay. ¿Algo más? ¿Algo más? Yo soy ignorante a esto. I'm sorry. I'm from Houston, Texas. Pregúntame lo que quieras de Texas, California, Chicago y así Florida. Pero El Salvador. The weather is nice. Y no ¿Cómo se llama María Ismelda? Ok, no, I got Imelda, you. Imelda, Imelda, sin ese. Uh, María Ismelda. No, okay. sin ese. Es Imelda, no lleva ese. Ah, ok, María Imelda. Ok, yes. we're going to talk, we're going to talk. All right, vamos a escuchar el audio. Y 
Unit's 13 to 14 progress check. Page 98. Exercise 1. Listening. What are you looking for? Listen to the conversations. What do the people need? Where can they get or find it? Complete the chart. 1. What are you looking for? I'm mailing some letters, and I need some stamps. Well, you can get some at the drugstore. They sell stamps. Oh, great. Thanks. 2. So what do we need? I think we have everything. Sandwiches, fruit salad, cookies. Oh, wait. We don't have any drinks. Let's stop at the supermarket on the way there. We can get some lemonade. Good idea. 3. Excuse me. Is there a gas station around here? Um... I think there's a gas station on the corner of Main and First. Just drive down Main Street for four blocks. It's on the left. You can't miss it. I'm glad it's not far. I really need more gasoline. Four. Can you help me? Is there a restroom around here? Oh, sure. There's a restaurant not far from here. They have a restroom. Go up this street for two blocks and turn left. Thanks a lot. All right. Number one, where can the woman get stamps? At the drugstore. Drug At, the, drug At store. the drug store. Number two, what do they need? They, they need, need drinks. 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 Okay. Repeat. La de da da. No es una de fuerte. Drink. Es una de suave. Suave. Repeat, repeat. Drinks. 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 That's right. Es una de suave. They need drinks. They need drinks. Number three. Number three. On the core of May in Fris. On the corner of May and First. Very good. Everybody repeat. On the corner. On the corner. Of Main. Of Main. And First. First. On the corner of Main. On the corner. On the corner. Of Main. And first. And first. Number four. How can the woman get, get to the restroom? Go up the street for blocks for left. You can use the restaurant. And the restaurant. Go Yes. Yes. Correct. For correct. Yes. That is correct. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. That is right. <laughs> okay. So your homework is going to be 311 and the video. That's going to be your homework. Any questions? No, no question. Okay. Vaya, ya terminamos la sesión de la clase. Ahora quiero escuchar eh, ya fuera del record, ya fuera de la clase. Cada quien diga, ay, al fin, ya no vamos a hablar en inglés. Ya no quiero hablar en inglés. 
<laughs> ok, mm -hmm. ya podemos hablar español. Mm -hmm. eh, tell me, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se sienten en la plataforma? ¿Cómo se sienten en el módulo? ¿Cómo les puedo ayudar más? ¿Qué necesitan? Talk to me, talk to me. Yo soy tú y yo. Fíjate sí. este, que yo necesito, eh, hay una, eh, una pregunta en la número, pero este que no, no me sale. Ok. Eh, me sale con okay. error. Escríbeme, la, es, hacerle un, tomarle una foto, tomarle una foto. Me la mandas a mi WhatsApp privado y la vemos juntos. ¿Sí? Ok, sí. Thank you. Okay, thank you. ¿Alguien más? ¿Alguien más? Sí, eh, sí, tengo una pregunta, pero es relacionado con nosotros cuando vamos a repasar el verbo que vi. Eh, eh, do, das. Um, Auxiliares. Pre ok. Sí. Ah, presente, mandame un text. Los verbos. Mandame un text. Mándame awesome. un text en privado y yo te voy a hacer, eh, yo te voy a mandar unos templates de do y does y los puedes compartir con todos. Yes. That's right. That's good. ¿Alguien más? Teacher, no sé si podría dar más ejemplos con las cuestiones de las direcciones. Um, ahí el programa se basa más con extranjeros, pero acá tenemos avenidas, tenemos polígonos, tenemos eh, no sé en qué más nos podría usted ayudar para... Por favor. Ok. That's good. That's good. All right. Escríbeme en el WhatsApp privado. Teacher, quiero esto, quiero lo otro. Y... Mañana la primera hora. Guys, por favor, no sientan que no me pueden preguntar algo. No sientan. Están hablando con un masters. Masters. In English. And no me, no, that finance, accounting, real estate, foreclosures, legal. O sea, that, yo tengo todo eso right here. Right here. O sea, no lo tengo que ni buscar en Google. Solo ask me. Ask me. And I will help you. Ok. So, obviamente no puedo uh, 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 contestar todas las preguntas que me están haciendo individualmente. Porque estamos en un programa. Pero no quiere decir que no le puedo responder. Write me privately and I will answer you. Yes. Okay. Yes, thank you. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. All right. Yes. The yes, the finance, foreclosures, real estate, um, products, Ring. imports. Yes, es mi especialidad. Eso es lo que hago todo el día, todos los días. En los Estados Unidos, no en El Salvador. Yo no opero en El Salvador más que ahorita. Gracias. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. 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 Good night.